This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. The Creation of Adam is a painting that belongs to the Renaissance era. This work is Michelangelo's fresco Sistine Chapel ceiling, which is circa done in the year 1508 to 1512. The work was done in the Sistine Chapel of the Vatican in Rome. This painting was selected because of the way it expresses the relationship between God and man through the first man. A lot of interest lies in the gap that exists between the fingers of God and those of Adam which are reaching one another for a kind of inspiration. The creation of Adam painting is the most notable as can be seen in the frescoes of the Sistine Chapel. This painting places God at an iconic position as can be seen in the hands reaching each other. The painting is an illustration of biblical creation as can be found in the book of Genesis. This painting was the fourth among the ones that traced the episodes of creation at the beginning which were present in the ceiling of the Sistine. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is the only painting that rivals the creation of Adam by Michelangelo. The image portrayed the touching hands of Adam and God and has led to countless parodies and imitations. The languid Adam of Michelangelo was modeled in the form of the Door of Paradise by Ghiberti where he was trying to portray the creation of Eve. Michelangelo has heavily borrowed from the version of Jacopo della Quercia found in the portal of San Petronio, Bologna. Michelangelo uses the enlarged figure of Adam and God in this painting to show the points of focus to the viewers. In the creation of Adam, a white-bearded man depicts God, who is wrapped in a cloak and Adam is at the lower left. God outstretches his right arm to give life from his finger into the first man. Adam, on the other hand, stretches his left arm and poses to mirror God. This is to remind men that they are created in the likeness and image of God, Genesis 1 verse 26 New International Version. The painting also creates suspense when the fingers of God and man are not in contact although they are close to each other. This implies that God who is the giver of life is reaching out to man and man is receiving in return. There is a person protected by the left arm of God and according to my analysis, it is a feminine figure in appearance. The feminine person could be a female angel. The painting generally depicts how God created man in his image and Michelangelo might have been inspired by a medieval hymn by the name Veni Creator Spiritus, which asks the faithful speech to be given by the finger of the right hand of the Father. In the creation of Adam, 1508-1512, there is a short distance between Adam and God. This short distance makes the work dynamic and impressive. The space between fingers and not fingers is the focal point of the painting according to my analysis. Michelangelo used this gas meticulously in the renowned fresco. In the creation of Adam painting, there is a stylistic shift with the increment of monumental figures and the reduction of narrative details. The scenes unfold in an order that is chronologically reversing. This draws the viewer closer to God and the action of creation that signifies the union between man and God. In the painting, God's left arm has stretched to reach a female figure and a child. This child is believed to be Jesus Christ. The prominent position of the child is on a large scale and is directly in contact with God which gives the child the stats of Jesus Christ. Hence, the creation of Adam is a painting, which encapsulates the relationship existing between God and man. The arm stretched wide signifies how God created man and anticipated a savior for him. Man is thus required to spark in unity with his creator. The painting depicts the future sin to be committed by Adam and automatically leads to his fall. Then Jesus Christ will come in to redeem him. Both the hands of God and those of Adam are muscular although the hands of Adam are weak and flaccid unlike the hands of God which have structural strength. The colors used by Michelangelo emphasize this contrast, for instance, Adam's tan hue flesh is heavy and opaque while the arm of God is vigorous and rosy. This painting consists of illusionist architectural elements, which derive from the figure and narrative scenes discussed in the Old Testament. 
In conclusion, in the creation of Adam by Michelangelo, God is depicted breathing life into Adam while Adam is in a reclining position from a hilltop stretching the left hand passively towards his creator. Consequently, Adam is resting on his right hand foreshortened and his head sunken within his shoulders. The portrayal of God as a bearded man who arrives in a swirling robe accompanied by angels shows his majesty. The gap between the finger of God and that of Adam portrays his majesty and genius. This makes the viewer develop tension and anticipation and I can analyze this scene as God putting a spark of life to Adam. It can be compared to a huge electric charge transmitted through a very thin cable. No other image of Western creation has endured Michelangelo's creation of Adam despite its portrayal of Western art history. Did you like this descriptive painting The Creation of Adam sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the free database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs, without even having to register.